What's up, Nitro Nation? Muggy Maniac is back in the bash section. Happy, or should say, brappy Memorial Day. Everybody, all Nitro Nation, Muggy Maniacs, Truggy Maniacs, Buggy Maniacs, even Monster Maniac, you know, I call them the Monster Maniac Scrubs. You know, and I don't mean that in a bad sense. I mean, a, a scrub is, you know, it basically you're a freshman. You know, you gotta ask yourself where where you're in the in the nitro. We're gonna we're gonna start. We're, I'm gonna call this <coughs> the Muggy Maniacs. Gonna call this the Nitro Nation High School Class of 2019. Now, where are you in in the nitro school? I don't know. A lot of a lot of a lot of freshmen, which means you know you're a scrub. Okay. You know, some are sophomores, some are juniors, you know, not to toot my own horn, but, you know, I'm, I've been doing it for, for a minute, not a long time, you know, I still don't know, I don't know a lot, you know, I, I know what I know, though. Uh, I'm a senior, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll be graduating, um, not anytime soon, you know, so, I mean, it all decides. Next level, your level, whatever level, you know, you got to ask yourself, where are you in the Nitro High School? Are you a scrub? I just call it how I see it. I know I'm not a scrub. Can you tune? I don't know. That's the question that you need to ask yourself. Some people think they can tune because they don't know what a tune is. And I don't know how you don't know what a decent or a good or a nice dialed in tune is because, you know, it's all over YouTube. <laughs> you can, you're a, you're, you know, but then again, you, some people just are still living in the Stone Age, man. I don't know what, you know, you want to call it, you know, and I, I, no disrespect, I lived in Texas. I know about Southern people, country folk, all that shit. I lived in Louisiana uh, for a minute. You know, I've been all over the place. I know the East Coast, West Coast, spent a minute in, you know, New Jersey. You know, not New York or any, you know, but close enough. I was on the East Coast. So, you know, Texas for many, many, many years. So I know there's a few of my Nitro brothers. By the way, shout out to all you Texans. Y'all. Because that's how they say it over in Texas. Y'all. I remember when I lived, I used to tell people, hey, you guys have a good day. They're like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What'd you just say? I said, you guys have a good day. Oh, you must be from California. You a Cali, Cali, you one of them Cali city folks. And I'm like, what? No, it's y'all here, son. You need to get it right. It's y'all. They ain't no you. They ain't no you guys. It's y'all. Y'all have a guy go, that ain't even a word, man. What are you guys talking about, you all? It is in Texas, son. You're in Texas. Don't for, don't get that twisted. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, ma'am, or yes, sir. You know, I respect those people. I have no disrespect for anybody except people that deserve it, you know? Credit do where credit's do, but criticism do where also criticism do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I don't want to... Again, you know, it seems like I'm always starting my videos with, with the Muggy Maniacs getting on getting in somebody's kitchen getting in, getting griping about something because you know give me a reason not to please i would like to start out my videos or, or or you know with with you know not having to you know get up in somebody's business you know but hey i gotta represent the nitro nation man you, you don't just come in the nitro nation and you know say all this yin yang yin yang and talking all this you know yap 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 and you know if you're gonna talk about it be about it you know how many times i say that you know, you talk a good talk. You talk the talk. Can you walk the walk? I don't know. Let me see that. That's why I put out that this contest. You will get the pipe that I'm running today on the Mugen MBX5 Pro Spec race buggy here. You know, <clears throat> uh, but I'm running that pipe on here. It's an 080. It's called the Y186. It's a clone of an 86, but it's it's a badass pipe, man. It's it got, sounds good. Got a lot of bottom and mid um, and top. It's it's screaming pipe. And I got the 4100 header on there. 41001 header, uh, which was recommended. You know, I was watching some Mr. Zod videos, and he was saying, hey, if you're going to run a, a stock big motor, a .28, a good quality or a decent quality anyway, you know, a Novorossi 28.8 rep or or or, you know, a... Uh, uh, whether it's a seven port or eight port or you're going to run a LRP.32 and it's not modified he, he suggests running the 41001 okay the 41032 like I said before is for modded okay it needs a mod to really you know get the most out of it not that it doesn't do anything but you know you won't see much of a difference and I have and I've ran it so on this motor 
Okay, so we're going to run the 41001, then we're in with the 086 pipe, and that this combination here, I'm going to, I've only ran it like one other time. It's mint brand new. I'm going to clean it up, polish it, shine it, bag it up. You're getting the header, the pipe, if you win my contest. I'm going to get this contest for two weeks. Whoever can s upload the, the best video of a BRAP session, and you don't have to be all, per you know, but I, in a sense, I'm going to judge people on the camera work too. I mean, if I'm the most idiotic freaking retard in making cameras, and my camera work is far from, from <laughs> anything professional, and I don't try to be or claim to be, it is what it is. I do the best I can. Um, if I can do a decent video, you guys can too. Don't be doing this and, you know, this and, you know, make the shit right. Turn your camera to your phone sideways and film that. You know, Woogie's got an, an advantage. Well, kind of advantage because he're, he's really still learning how to do that, do his, uh, his GoPro. But, he, you know, those of you that have other than your phone to, to film on, you got a little bit of advantage. But anyway, let's, uh, this motor, I've, I've been warming it up. It's still cold. Um, it's just really, the weather looks nice. It is nice out today. It rained all day yesterday, but don't let this nice sunny weather fool you. By the way, on my last, a couple of mistakes, I've been trying to find my own mistakes in the video because I'll be the first one to admit my mistakes. Hey, I admit when I'm wrong. You guys call me out. Hey, if, if you got facts behind it and you can prove that I'm wrong, or even a lot of times I'll just say, you know what, I'll do my, you're right. You're right. I said the wrong thing or, you know, and one thing is when I said about, uh, uh, hopefully he'll still be in the Nitro Nation, but one of the guys that I just outcasted from because of his videos, and I thought he was, you know, I, he was paying attention to my videos, but obviously he wasn't. The reason you're, you're usually the reason your, your shit won't start right away is because usually your low end needle is off and it's not because it's too lean, it's because it's too rich. And I think I helped Woogie out with that and... You, you can do what you want. I'm just trying to help people. You're going to wear out your wheel. You're going to burn your wheel out if you continue to try to start it. You know, it's not always going to vroom, fire up the first time. But after it's dialed in and broken in, and all, you know, this LRP is still brand new. Keep that in mind. Tons of pinch, man. The thing's done. It's got exactly 15 tanks through it. 10 of it is 20%. So the five tanks of 30%, this will be tank number six. I've still got a long way to go. It's barely got... Let's just say two quarts through it total. I've got to get at least another 10 tanks through it before this thing's semi broken in. Once you get a gallon through it, I'm going to remove a head shim out of the top, like was suggested by Rick. Uh, for most of the bigger motors, or most motors, after you break them in, if they got shims, take one out. Anyway, we're going to get this thing wrapping. It was kind of warm. I was saturating it with my heat warmer. By the way, somebody wanted to know what I used. 12 volt battery man they're cheap ebay like less than 20 bucks anyway let's fire this thing up enough of my yap yap and you know the muggy maniac but anyway decide where you're at man are you a scrub are you a fret are you a sophomore a junior what i don't know you tell me right now. It's okay to run them race till they get warmed up. I suggest you do what you want.
too, when they're rich, they'll load up really fast. You can just hear it. Um, and when, you, when you're leaning or richening, just do it in small increments. Some people, you know, and I used to do the same thing. Overturn, so then you're going way past, and you got to start over again. Pain in the ass. So, just a suggestion. <laughs> Lean bog. <laughs>
Nothing like a little Mugen buggy style drifting, nitro drifting, baby. Just uh, not on concrete. Actually, I could. This thing still spins the wheels. Let's see what our, our fuel looks like. Still low. A little too low. <coughs> Just my idle. Just a little bit. Sounds good. Sounds good. Just want to get the idle to idle a little bit longer. <laughs> All that, and we're only at what? <laughs> Telling you, man. 180. We're at we're at 186, people. All that noise and all that brapping right there, and I only get a 186, man. I'm telling you, it's it looks nice and sunny. I mean, it is, but it's it's chilly out still. <laughs> Still cold. I'm running a 14 tooth on this too. I wasn't sure. I figured a 13 it would have a lot, like too much bottom end with a .32 on this thing. But um, I think if I put a 13 tooth, it would have a lot more more punch bottom end. I mean it's okay, but I just I'd like it snappier. See, it takes a it like takes a second to like really get up off the bottom end because of that 14 tooth. And I know, you know, most of the time, 
13 is, is best uh, for a buggy. 14 is more like for a chuggy. Because of the bigger tires. She's got, she's got some bark. Now keep in mind, if this was full-on mod, you know, like RV modded, you know, just my little, uh, you know, my little clean-up port job and little crank work, but nothing serious. Because I know an RV modded or, or any professionally, like, full mod on a motor like this, on this motor, yeah, this, this buggy, even with a 14 tooth pinion, would be just, front end would be ripping. It still gets up there, but... She gets busy, but, you know, I just think a 13 would have been a lot better. is running kind of rich. Let me let me get a little leanness on this bad boy. Just a tad. First liver, give me some more. people
Catch you guys on the next video. Back at the cave. LRP.32 MM modded by the Muggy Maniac. Can you tune? I don't know. That's the question only you can answer. Oh yeah. We just got funky.